Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your maker 2199 and I'm bringing you guys very <laughs> long awaited at least for me, you know, um, weapon review and this is the buried 50 cal. I've never used this weapon ever, you know, before and um, well I did use the uh, Modern Warfare 3 one but I never, I never really used it much because back in Modern Warfare 3 if you guys remember those days or maybe you guys don't, you know, you were a bitch if you... <laughs> If you didn't use the uh, single shot or whatever, you know, sniper. Now, that's the reason that I never really used the 50 cal because everybody would bitch and complain about that. And I, I used the MSR and the other one, you know, that were single shot mostly. I never really used an automatic sniper till, you know, later on. But um, till like a Black Ops 2 or 3, you know, game. But yeah, that, that's the only reason that I avoided it, and that was because I was trying to do, you know, my YouTube before, and I didn't want people to come in and, you know, be bitching and complaining about a, a weapon like that. But this was a legendary weapon for Modern Warfare, I never used it in Modern Warfare because I had never played it before. And I got as, I understand exactly why it is, you know, it is a beast of a weapon. It, it, it'll kill like anybody <laughs> at any given points you know it, it really doesn't discriminate you know whether whether you're whether you want to or not it's gonna kill you you know as long as you hit the shot because I, I do feel that you need to be a lot more accurate with this weapon it's a little bit pickier but once you if you do land that shot you know I don't find myself getting too many hit markers so a thing that I want to give you guys here is a tip when using it, you know, there isn't, I haven't found a downside to this weapon really, except that you need to be extremely accurate, and if you shoot it too fast, you can't control it because of the recoil, you know, if you just one shot this weapon like I'm gonna do, you know, it's fine, you know, you're, you're never gonna notice any recoil or anything like that, but if you don't one shot this weapon, and you're spraying like mad, <laughs> You know, you're you're gonna notice all the the freaking recoil that it has, and it's uncontrollable, it's unusable, and hitting shots or it's gonna be plain old luck. You know, I've done it, I've killed a few people like that, and it's it, that's what it boiled down to at the end. You know, just pure luck. So, if I can give you guys here a small little tip, that is to use the ACOG, and the reason that I'm saying that is because. I was pl before I unlocked this weapon. I was playing on Crash, and I was playing with the the M16, I think, or whatever it is. You know, the three burst rifle, and I couldn't do anything. There was a bunch of people just noob tubing and you know, just being complete women and and all of that. You know, and I just couldn't do anything. You know, we were like spawn trapped by all of these noob tubes and nades and all of that crap. And I played a lot of games like that till I finally played against. A team, an opposing team that was using snipers. And the Kingslayer, he had a sniper. He was using the Dragonov or whatever it's called. And the thing that he had on his weapon, and I never, never really thought of using this on it. <laughs> you know, I never thought of, of using a weapon like that with an ACOG, you know, because that's a, another, you know, basically semi automatic sniper. And I picked it up and I started using it and you know, if you guys saw my Dragon Art review, you guys know that that weapon is a beast. You know, it's almost equivalent to this one. Most of the shots that you take, as long as you're precise, you're gonna kill them, most of your enemies with one shot. Now, this weapon is a little bit stronger than the Dragon Off, you know, but um, the drag do never discount the Dragon Off off from a fight or a competition against this weapon. You know, it's really beast. Like I said, you know, most of your shots are gonna be a one shot dead. You know that's that's the way it goes and picked it up he had a and it doesn't i don't think it really has that much recoil he had an acog on it and he was just melting people he was using it like a freaking right you know like <laughs> almost automatic sniper or whatever and he kept on melting everyone and i was able to kill him you know i pulled out my remington 700 you know i sniped him and i i, I picked up his sniper you know i dropped my pistol and i picked it up and I just started shooting people with it and most of, most of the shots that I took were one shot, you know, kill. And uh, those that I didn't kill with one shot, I was able to put two on them really fast and accurately without much recoil. And take them out, you know, so I was like, damn, that is beast, you know. And I know that I said that for the M, whatever it's called, you know, the M40 or M38, you know, to use it with an ACOG because it's a little bit more powerful. 
Well, these weapons, especially for what I'm doing here, you know, you know, I'm using a sniper and I'm not camping, you know, so I don't really understand, you know, I know that camping is a legit strat or it could be used, you know, and, um, <laughs> but I really dislike it, you know, because it's, it's frustrating to play against a group of campers that don't move. And um, it doesn't make the, the gameplay fun or entertaining, it just makes it boring. And right there I, I just picked a few shots. That guy saw me too, but I, I was able to shoot him before. And um, But yeah, you know, and if he was standing still, you know, like a moron, of course I'm gonna take the free kill. But um, yeah, so if you slap on an ACOG to this weapon, you know, you're gonna be able to do, to do some crazy, crazy damage with it. And right there... I, I should have known that he was killed because I saw the tags, but I, I cooked the nade before I actually noticed it, so, and I just went with it, and here I, I died because of my inaccuracy, you know, I wasn't accurate, and, you know, all of that, and right there, that was a mistake, you know, I just panicked, I just wanted to put that down and then move, and right there, I just stood there because it was going to land close to where I was, and I was like, is it going to hit me, or, is it, or am I going to be safe, you know? <laughs> But um, yeah, it, it wasn't me like trying to camp or anything like that. But yeah, I don't know, I, I really do, really do enjoy this weapon and I always get killed by these retarded ass nades. You know, like everybody has an Arnold Schwarzenegger on. I've seen people shrug nades from across the map and every time that I throw a nade it lands on my own feet, you know. <laughs> like I don't really understand that crap. But alright, you know, this is just an insane weapon. So I hope, I hope if you guys haven't used it or you guys don't snipe much or you've been having trouble, switch to that ACOG, you know, and give it a go, you know, I promise you it's gonna be really, really beast, you know, unless they have that juggernaut, you know, crap on, it might take two shots unless you, like, headshot them or, or hit them really precise, but other than that, you're gonna be able to kill people, melt them, and this is the best way to use a mobile sniper I found. Now it's not because I don't know how to quick scope. I do know how to do it. I do do it, but it's not my preference. And because um, I tend to die a lot more, especially because I rush so much. You know, people. A lot of people when they quick scope, you know, they're able to do it effectively because they're already pre-aiming at a certain certain area and they're kind of camping it down. You know, they're just waiting for people to cross and they're just gonna take a quick shot. You know, and that's not my game style. You know. So uh, it doesn't mean that I don't do it, I do it on a pinch, you know, whenever I see an opponent that comes up really quickly, I do quick scope. But it's not something that I do, you know, on a regular basis. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm pretty effective with it, but not as effective as, you know, using an ACOG and running around like this and stuff like that. And it's just because people don't expect it, you know. Like, it, p put yourself on the, the shoes of these other snipers, you know, if they have a... The ACOG is a lot smoother and a lot faster, like that guy, he probably has a scope and he's trying to, you know, get me right, like, send it on the reticle and it's hard to do. And with the ACOG, it's really easy to do, it's really easy to maneuver and uh, me to be able to walk like I'm doing and take them out, you know, so it does throw people off. And, um, I, I really do like this setup, you know, and ever since I've been watching a few players do this, you know, I'm, I've always been a bit of an ACOG, you know, sniper or iron sights or whatever they had, you know, sniper because it throws people off, you know, it's a really powerful weapon but it's also, it's also really hard to use, you know, and right here I don't know what <laughs> what was going on, you know, we basically kissed and this guy couldn't even kill me which was pretty hilarious but, you know, he did get me on the end and the freaking desert eagle, you know, I just can't use that weapon, I choose awkwardly and... I don't know, but it's really powerful as well, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, and I, I just melted people like crazy on this match, and right there you saw that guy, he was scoping in on me, but he, he really couldn't do anything, you know, and it's just because of the quickness that I'm coming at him, and you know, he's not able to put that scope, you know, on me as fast as I'm able to move and, you know, switch my aim and just shoot him, you know, so I, I move very fluidly with an ACOG, and I really can't do the same with the with the scope but uh, I do use them a lot <laughs> and um, that's just because I'm trying to become a better player and that sort of stuff and um so I don't know you know hopefully you guys do enjoy this you know a great weapon I would give it a 10 out of a 10 especially with this ACOG and look at this bullshit right here no clue how he didn't die I clearly shot him like 10 times on the ass and he still didn't die he had damage from you know previously and still didn't die so you know that that's caught on a nutshell <laughs> 
and a ton of people just can't be you know but um yeah i don't know i i did really well in this match and i hope to continue to bring out gameplays like this for you guys to enjoy you know it's it's really fun for me to get them and hopefully you guys enjoy them as well hopefully you guys like sub and all of that you know and give this weapon you know an acog and all of that a try see you guys on the next one thank you